All right, and as said in the description that we do have probably worst possible animal themed games this time. And we will look at first at the first one that is probably the worst one of uh, all of them even. So let's first read the description of it and then see how well it plays or doesn't play. So welcome all, it's been a while. In the meantime we held Northern Lights Fur Dance and have been otherwise hopefully doing well. So let's see about the description of the game. So we have the thing Wild Animal Simulator Code 3D 2020 by Apex Indie Games. All right. And description of the game. Your dreams have finally come true. You're about to make the biggest rampage this world has ever seen as a wild animal simulator code 3D. Run fast, escape from the founded farm. Herd is ready to escape. Combine crazy goats and bugs to evolve them and discover their most curious, exotic and bizarre city in real crazy goat run simulator. Let the crazy goat simulator adventure begin. Play as a fallen crazy goat and scamper in the incredible city environment. You are on a destruction mission and chaos! Exclamation mark. Experience the crazy goat simulator madness and hit the road like a storm. Then this goes on and on and on. This is apparently either uh, translated from some uh, polymachine translatable language and or generated text because it goes on for the whole screen and it's very similar for very long time. So let's skip a few chapters and the final chapter 3D Crazy Code Run Simulator, it's already the third name the game has been given, none of which is the game it was provided as in the <laughs> download. 3D Crazy Code Run Simulator enables the rider to feel the beauty of realistic simulation. The city is busy and survival is only to maintain your health and take frequent stops to get energy. Try to take maximum points and challenge your family and friends in this exciting 3D wild animal simulator code 3D game. Uh, really, they have already given <laughs> also several other names for the game than the one it was given under. <laughs> so yes, let's see what the game then actually looks like, because that would be description wise very interesting. It's actually got an only two ratings ever of four stars and two of five stars and three stars. So it's four stars rated <laughs> all together. So would say that the game is slightly less than popular. So with that description should be interesting. Let's try to start the game and capture it hopefully because the whole thing is ridiculously simplistic. There we are, and it will be very interesting. Let's see if we are able to capture it. So, the whole, whole game is like kind of lacking in finesse. Yes, we are even getting an image, so let's have a look at the masterpiece. There we go, and as we can see the game has only two settings. Sensitivity and music. There are no other settings in the whole game. So let's then get serious with the high quality masterpiece. So, first of all, the, what uh, apparently appears black borders in the stream for your 
Zani, the are actually small rectangular online advertisements, including uh, 25 everyday foods that are harming your body's health. And then we also get some advertisement pop-ups, which apparently neither so so the game is ridiculously obnoxious it actually shows advertisement while you are just in the main menu which includes six most expensive dog breeds combine loans a wonder pill or just humbug uh, beautiful new hearing aids are almost sold out in finland and uh, better poten better potency for men over 40 <laughs> all right so after some advertising and similar advertising also in the borders that you fortunately are not seeing so would say that you should already be uh, grateful that you're not seeing the borders and as we can see the game overall quality looks really high we have like a nice goat here and goat here and everything then we have only play, more, like, and settings. More actually takes you to the vendor's website, but the link is broken. Yes, and like, most probably likes it uh, somewhere. So let's push play, because we clearly want to play the code simulator. <laughs> so, here we have <laughs> code selection, and we actually have only one type of goat but you get more starting money and uh, the goat, uh, other goats are actually locked apparently they are like one is wider and one is slightly more yellow so actually the goats do differ like this is wider and this is like a bit different color than the first one the first one is the darkest though the difference is quite subtle because didn't even notice it the first time so <laughs> yes <laughs> Really, and uh, there we are. <laughs> There's nothing else to select, and this has zero starting money. The two locked ones actually have like five hundred and thousand apparently costs. So, and you can't buy it because we have zero money. So, darkest coat it is then. So there we go. Next, and then level selection, of course. <coughs> All the others are locked, so it's quite clear, clear we have to choose level 1. Mm, not totally surprisingly, starting out the game, so... That would be then beginning of... It doesn't look like it's very high quality, admittedly, so let's see if we go into the game proper how it is because still would say that you are very fortunate you are missing all the advertisements because apparently a different binary provides them or something else that causes them to not get captured which is kind of you're missing 30 percent of the experience so that would be already the reason for gratefulness in itself because you're missing out on considerable amount of clutter so let's then choose level one and some new advertisements, which also... Wonder of Technology, hearing aid for those who do not want one. Uh, then again, combine your loans, more hearing aid. Apparently, over all this uh, thing seems to think that this one needs a hearing aid. So, loading. Alright, let's start. Code simulator. Find a bomb in the fireworks factory located in the industrial area of the city. Alright. Next, and now our goat is, is on the ground, so let's then start moving. Alright, <laughs> the movement and the animation are kind of mismatched. <laughs> Very well. And then of course rotating the view. The button apparently makes the goat jam or something this is supposed to be an attack most probably one of the design issues which this thing has a plenty is that you can't actually rotate the view 
beyond certain certain point because you go into the borders with advertisement and that it stops rotating because the input is going elsewhere. So the game adaptation is missing some subtleties like uh, working working viewpoint rotation beyond a certain point. So let's then see like we Alright, and then we can only adjust sensitivity and music. Let's see if we like do something about the sensitivity. Does it affect the rotation? Uh, it does, so it's... No, it doesn't. It kind of helps. <laughs> I have to say, it still doesn't work very confidence-inspiring. Also, unsure which button jumps have not been successful at jumping so hmm, level design is kind of uh, slightly missing the point quite repetitive ah there are some nice statues by the bricks but if we like uh, <laughs> what? the statue fell over and we, we fell into the water you lose try again Alright, restart and we have to find the fireworks factory. Sure. Ah. <laughs> uh, the trees do not fall over unlike the statues. This direction appears to have absolutely nothing, so let's turn around. Uh, uh, sure. Three has become a tumbleweed. Let's try to push at another one. That didn't fall over. Apparently, unsure what happened to the first tree because it's now rolling, rolling in that direction. <laughs> so, like, yes. All right, the cart we can apparently push at. There are quite a few cards also. Alright. Have not found any other action buttons. Alright, the radar or the cold dar seems to show like a red circle. Might that be the fireworks factory? So is it across the bridge maybe? The a relative distance on the cold dar seems kind of all right <laughs> clearly clearly the <laughs> physics in the game are kind of <laughs> also the statues have no interior model so feel free to also inquire about things we should do in the Ultimate, ultimate, go, 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 wild go simulator 3D, 3D if you wish. Are these statues more solid, like on the other other side of the bridge? Uh, the gold can also turn only in cardinal directions, so it's kind of like uh, very painful because the overall view you have to at times reset the viewpoint by moving moving the mouse back and forth to get so that you can actually rotate the view because otherwise you are stuck all right the trees here do not budge either so all right there would be the red red circle here so maybe this is the fire factory all right car exploded that that looked interesting <laughs> All right, the truck flew, flew over and started smoking, so there are also some barrels. All right, the level design is kind of... The amount of damage the ghost can cause is kind of surprising. The food shop, apparently can't be damaged. The amount of clutter is at least impressive. All 
right. Apparently we got thrown thrown around by an explosion. There are some propane tanks here. Unfortunately they can't apparently be pushed pushed at so. Alright. This game is also so popular that there is even no description. Alright, we went straight through that house. There is no description. There is no like slot on slot on Twitch Twitch for this, this game. So apparently the cars are especially sensitive compared to that we haven't succeeded at causing that many explosions at the chemical plant, despite making quite a mess of it. All right, let's see where the red red dot is. So there should be a bomb inside the fireworks. All right, we hit the guy and flew really high. Hmm. It's rare also clips through his coat. Hmm. Alright, he went behind. Alright, this man is making off like with two frame running animation and we apparently can't touch him like this pipe. <laughs> Despite running about as fast as we can. Alright, then there's an invisible wall, so can we now push it, push it. Alright. There's a bus stop here. The goat running animation is also exquisite. Alright, the red circle is somewhere here, but... I have not really found what it tries to... Alright. That went through a right, right straight through the building. Right, here's the other guy. The amount of damage the goat causes is also considerable. Right, there's another guy. Uh, okay. I have to say that the overall quality of the implementation leaves something to be desired. Alright, that guy has taken off really fast with the fancy running animation. Some of the houses you can go through and some you can't. Let's try to use the attack button if we can. 
Chevy called Soul. Unfortunately, it's very hard to press because you have to practically position your mouse, which also positions your viewpoint so that you can push the button. So the attack button is really hard to use. Let's see. We can find anything to attack so that we can reposition the view to do so because the overall usability is like really limited. Some of the cars explode and some don't. Still haven't been able to find the bomb, though, which was mentioned. Alright, gas station just means some trouble. At least it exploded pretty well. That car looks quite fancy with the Ram Air, Ram Air supercharger and all. See if we can find uh, one of the guys so we could use the attack button, which takes kind of separate preparation because it practically requires. Also, some of the things mentioned in the description the game doesn't seem to have, like we do not appear to have any energy or need to replenish it. So, alright, there's the guy, so let's try to use the attack button. very hard to use because you have to position your mouse mouse right really Alright, the goat also moves backwards while attacking. So do you think we have mostly seen the ex excellent, excellent implementation the game is? Because it doesn't seem that we can do much else. So do you think that we are mostly done with the Goat Simulator. Next, we do have some really high-end hunting games, so let's check those out next. I do not think there's much else to find in the... Alright, there's some meat, meat here, but apparently we can't... Can't. Let's try, try and attack the thing, of course, because nothing happens. Of course, would have been pretty ironic to do something about the meat meat so do not think there is much else to actually have happen in the game so let's conclude as far as the goat game goes after half an hour of very high quality gameplay that the goat game most probably is not is not best animal themed game ever and uh, overall the description promised quite a bit when we consider that maintain your health in this crazy real code run simulator be energetic and survive as a real survivor of crazy code on the run and escaped from the farmhouse goat's health will go down level will start dropping down if continue running energize goat and take some rest before it gets on the move again while simulating and roaming wildly. You can feel the beauty of beautiful landscape with buildings, green grounds with uh, grass, with realistic views of city landscape. Be like a perfect crazy goat simulator to play this escapade 3D goat run simulator, a realistic time killer game among all games of angry birds and farm animal simulation games you ever played or downloaded before. The most realistic and beautiful wild animal simulator code 3D available. Yes, most probably we should move to next animal themed game because we probably saw more than the code simulator even had to offer. <laughs> so let's switch, switch views here and 
would give like probably one out of five. Uh, it had some amusement aspect, but it wasn't very. So let's return to main menu and have to say that there was also no way to, for example, save the game. So let's just let's just close it. There we go. That was kind of patently patently poor, but uh, certainly a lot of amusement for a while because it's very hard to really uh, get much much out of a game that has been clearly made made very 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 uh, low low standards as far as even this this type of things go so let's next next then check out the next game we have because there are more so let's see we had the we had a couple of less than excellent hunting games and first we do have a danger hunt animal survive which uh, also has very florid description a veteran of war returned to his hometown to find own his town has been attacked by wild animals and the squared villagers are forced to abandon the area to protect their lives you are the only hope of the people to clear their land so that they can move back in their homes. In order to clear the area, you have brought two sniper guns. The first sniper reloads after every shot and the second sniper reloads after ten shots. It takes two body shots to kill an animal or if you are good enough for a headshot, one is enough. You can select which animal you want to hunt first, bear, wolf or lion. For each good shot you are awarded points, you can hunt more animals to beat your previous best score. Yes, <laughs> danger hunt animal survive. So let's see if this game is either on the Twitch list of existing games. So let's try to update our stream information, but somehow think that this game might not either, either be Danger, danger hunt animal survive. Unsurprisingly, it's not. So let's continue with the games and demos because we have such high quality content, content game wise. That let's then try danger hunt animal survive. And let's put bouncy bouncy out there. So let's let's then start danger hunt animal survive and see if we can capture capture an image of it. It also tries to show ADs, but apparently the service it is trying to use to show ADs has since gone the way of uh, gone the way of the game itself and no longer actually does anything. So let's see if we can capture an image of that, which also the <laughs> game binary is even called template.exe. So clearly they haven't put that much that much effort into the wall. Yes, we do get an image of the thing. Excellent. So there we go. As we can see, very cheap clip art has been at work also here. So let's see how this plays. This probably will not take very long. Tested this shortly and it was even most probably even compared to the goat game kind of bad. So uh, the lion looks a bit like Kisus Popcat maybe. And then we have the wolf. Looks looks nice. And the bear. Let's try the bear first. 
levels. One, two, three, four, five, one. All right. And there we go. All right, there's a bear. Was that a tra tracer round or something? Because sparks fly. There we go. There's another bear. And another. And also. And yet another. Level complete. And next level. And it's the same. And and it actually also one body shot is usually enough. Right now, now, all right. We can also use the scope, but it's usually just a bad idea because it takes more time to aim with the scope. You can actually use the scope like this, but it doesn't really help when usually it's anyway like. Almost point blank shots. All right, here the scope might be useful because it's coming right, right behind the. There we go. Scope shot. And apparently no no thing has taken two shots yet, so I'm sure if that's like uh, something for the difficulty to increase, or is it simply that the game isn't any better? And then there's also also like the health bar appears on stop on top of the level complete uh, screen, so it's kind of like also has certain certain lack of design progress in that respect. And certainly like let's try let's try the other animals also because repeating that is not very interesting. So let's try the other animals also. So let's try the wolf next and it's the same map, but now do you think there's a wolf somewhere? Yes. And it's even wagging nicely, so. Scope shots. And that's all. Apparently the level even ended before we hit the, hit the last one, really. And then it's another level of the same. Unsure what kind of like trace around or something the guy is using it because there's always a huge like a phosphorus round There's a huge explosion We didn't even hit that one and sparks fly also like the blood effects are like some spray paint effect All right, we even took some damage And level was complete again, like apparently when the final shot has been taken, it already completes the level, rather than waiting for the player to succeed with that. So would even even say that 
then let's try try the lion and probably that's all we have to say about this one the lion still do think look, looks like Kisus Popcat. And then it's again the shame. Let's do like even scope, scope shots. The hitbox is quite large because it's enough to like even hit between the legs and again the level completes once you actually missing like plate and at least results in a miss but otherwise it's like it doesn't take that much. Alright, there's like a queue of lions coming up. Alright. Alright. Point blank. Have to say that the overall game design is quite simplistic also the movements are not exactly <laughs> all right now we see the fancy like it's like shooting a trace around with the overall explosion and do think there wasn't much else to see with this game in the first place so let's move to maybe slightly better better ones like the overall game design was a little bit questionable maybe in in overall extreme simply simplicity and uh, this had even less going for it than the goat one but this works mostly properly so giving this slightly higher marks than the goat one like 1.5 uh, out of 5 or something because it actually works correctly unlike the goat one was kind of like out of not working correctly very far. <laughs> so let's then then next see about the next game and switch back here and that was not really very memorable have to admit so let's see the next game. So next we then do have slightly slightly higher higher quality quality like hunting game hunting animals 3D which has one rating of 5 stars and description is again quite florid hunting animals 3D let the hunting season begin right now do you want to feel courage from pursuit of savage animals through Bushes in deep mountains. Hunting animals 3D is for real duck hunters who like to spend time in the open wild nature and breathe fresh air, which might not happen at home with your computer. Test your accuracy and precision for long range shooting. Take your sniper rifle and start amazing adventure trip through the forest to your trophy. Hunting animals 3D is a perfect combination of shooting sports and gun games. Enjoy addictive sniper training for kids and grown-ups. Made a bad shot. That's okay. Aim right next time and finally you will join the sniper elite. Become a virtual sniper killer 3D and tell your own hunting stories to your friends! Exclamation mark. Period, period, period. And it has gotten one review of five stars, so... Uh, all right, whether it's higher quality than the previous two, at least it has more things to it. Because check uh, these out shortly that they run at all because they are not exactly new or even remotely new. And of the 
game stride, this has more options, unsure if it makes it better, but the menu at least has more things in it, so kind of think it is a bit better better made, at least it takes a lot longer to load, that much to know. So let's try starting starting the excellent excellent quality and let's again see if the thing has if the thing has any like proper proper entry on the Twitch game database because these have not been exactly the best presented ones, so this was called Hunting Animals 3D. Kind of answer whether it's not whether it's presented or not, but hunting animal shooting simulator sounds like it most probably is the same game and it has only four followers on the whole thing. So let's update to that, and we at least think considering the name is close and it sounds about as high quality that it would actually be that. So let's try to start the game and see if we get some video. Alright, let's see if we can capture the masterpiece. Yes, actually, that was very quick to capture. Maybe it uses some drawing mode that uh, the program actually likes. So, yep, we have clearly, clearly found, found, uh, and Let's switch over, there we go, and immediately we can get an advertisement. Try new survival mode in the hut. And then the game tries to sell us. Mm, good choice for amateur survival mode, professional equipment, silent killer crossbow, access to hunting with dog mode, and plus 100 coins every day. And then it's like 7 days for... Three, then 29.99 euro per three months. Like many games cost only that much or less. Subscription renews automatically until cancelled or right, and then subscribe later. Is this small? It's like, yeah, let's push the really small subscribe later, and now we get some. Bear axe, and this game at least tries to be kind of like. Then we have hut maintenance, trophies, farm rescue, survival mode, new game, hut training settings, and then settings actually has only hard shadows only, hard and soft shadows. Let's choose hard and soft shadows. Sounds has only sound volume, music volume, controls has only shoot, aim, weapon one, weapon two, reload, sprint. Inventory and dock and night vision goggles, which are not usually even allowed in hunting. So, yep, fair enough. This has more options than the gold simulator, at least. Let's choose just new game directly because do not know what these are and why they are separately needed. So, let's choose new game and then we have picked of. All right, we are apparently take your weapon and go hunting. So, all right, and where's the weapon? Right, this moves moves quite slowly. At least there are plenty of door. All right, let's see. Like, of course, the brightness of the image is not adjustable, so let's let's increase brightness of the display a little. There we go, and now we actually see. 
There's a barrel in the corner, all right. Are you sure you want to go hunting without equipment? All right, where do we find equipment? Uh, there are apparently stairs that are full of junk. There's a barrel also in the corner. All right. So we found, uh, we do have ammo for sniper rifle, mosquito and the knife. Storage has nothing, all right. And the wardrobe doesn't work, apparently we can't either just like put some clothes on here. Alright, this would be like the workshop. And here's the weapon. Sniper rifle. Condition 100. Alright. Looks good. Kind of like a gun mod bench. Not much else we can apparently do here even. Alright, now we at least have a weapon. Alright, there's a toilet. We can't use the toilet. Alright, this would be some kind of trophy room. We already have some trophies. And here's the kitchen. Looks nice enough. And we have a laptop. Which allows us to buy more weapons, supplies, whatever. Canned meat. Yeah. We have no money at all, so we can't buy canned meat. Food ration, forest ranger, 70. Food ration, heroic, 125. All right, most probably we are not eating. Backpack, 2500. Backpack with pockets, 2500. Spacious backpack, 5000, really. Weapon, and uh, actually the shotgun costs only 1600. Sniper rifle, we apparently already have. The shot 7.7x56 7, 7 cost. Five and then we have the precision rifle 43 3600 so like the backpacks are more expensive crossbow unlock all right hunter's rifle 6500 sure other night vision goggles yes 1500 first aid kit 60 only all right we can't even afford that so And there are already a couple of trophies, like, like, already present. Sure, now we should be ready to go out, do you think we have seen? No, there's still one room, which is mostly apparently decoration. There are also barrels here. There are some, like, normal, normals the wrong way or something else bugs in some of the things. All right, you can turn on the fireplace. You can like immediately turn it on and off and have sparks flying. Sure. <laughs> Seems a bit excessive. And now we can apparently go out hunting as we have the gun. Right. We can't apparently use the car. Where's the cabin? Like apparently we went out in the car immediately. If we use the tent. Return to tent to complete the. <laughs> yeah. So let's move out and see if we can find, find something. Alright, now we can also use the scope. Apparently, we can't change the scope, scope like magnification by the scroll wheel. At least we have 94 
ammunition, ammunition included, so Alright, not much hunting wise. Visi visible, visible yet, have to say. Alright, that's just a funny rock. Let's test also like the overall rifle accuracy. If we shoot at the rock, hard to say. Not much like. Not much happens. Let's go further and see, like, at least in this direction might be that we can't climb across the... Across the mountains, let's see. Yep, might be that we are not going in that direction, at least directly. Return to the tent to complete the task. Would imagine we should also try and hunt hunt something. Alright, let's return to tent and complete the quest. Alright. And now we do have then tasks like power skilled power all right eight minutes skill three ds all right let's see now we need to find a deer let's try going in the other direction because it seems the mountains at least do not make it very easy easy so let's try going in this direction and of course we continuously keep also losing energy so I'm sorry if running, running affects the energy loss. This, this has like 10 times, 10 times or more worse, worse graphics than the Hunter. So, right, there's... Alright, that was kind of anticlimactic. Let's move over and see about All right At least we then have a few minutes more to find more deer, so... Also hard to say, like, whether moving slowly matters much, because there's no indicator at all, like, for are we making excessive noise or such. Very hard, hard to say. Alright, let's see what happens if we run out of energy, because it's like... Doesn't seem to recover. Alright, the overall map design and draw distance are not very commendable. Climb, climb on top of the... Heal and see if we can glimpse any further... Targets.
right. <laughs> that wasn't very convincing uh, behavioral display, really. I would have found them hunting with a dog, maybe, but we do not have that. We are apparently also out of energy, but unsure if that matters for anything really. Right, and then we have 316 to do the third one, so... I have to say that the overall sophistication level of the game is a little bit below the mm, the hunter or something. So no wonder wonder that that is considered slightly better quality. And we haven't really seen anything else than the two deer, which. Also kind of do not look like deer. Right, there's our tent and there's our car, so... And there's our mark. Unsure how that counted as a miss. And then they stopped bouncing. Let's try again. Really. How did we miss again? Those all should have been really like, let's get closer. And now that shot worked, why? Then we have only 30 seconds to complete the task, so we would have to return the tent and answer if we can actually make it at this speed. It's like quite touch and go because we have like 15 seconds to return the tent and it's kind of really touch and touch and go like, right, it's like one, two. And we have like 20 XP and still no cash and we even even failed that by like one second. Kind of have to say that uh, do feel that we have seen quite quite enough of also of that 
that game like excellent, excellent quality, admittedly. So let's then. So kind of do think that overall the game wasn't very commendable either. So then we do have next next actually a game game that might interest also also Kisu so going to actually note to him that we are next playing the Panther Panther family game because do think this hunting thing pretty much overstayed its welcome because yep <laughs> the behavior was like really realistic not and also among other excellencies of the game uh, the model model for like hits was quite questionable too and so on so to think that we are moving to the next game we still have a couple of high high quality games indeed so let's Let's move move to the next. So do think that we can as well push back the menu and quit that. It wasn't much better than the previous one, but it was like an improvement would give it like maybe one and a half out of five. Unlike the previous one was probably worth half a star. So. It's slowly improving. Let's also note, note the keys, keys shortly that we are now playing. All right, let's let's see if Kisu Kisu can join the watch, but at least we are now. So let's then next next to the Panther Panther family family simulator now that we have done several other really poor uh, animal team games. So next we do have the after hunting animals 3D we do next have the Panther family simulator. So let's read the description. Panther family sim has gotten five stars out of one rating and dive into the life of life of wild pander hunt with your mate create family breed cups upgrade home and a lot more in this pander simulator huge and dangerous locations are waiting to be explored raise your own pander family cups need a lot of attention so you will need to Feed them and play with them until they grow up. Live with your mate and cubs in the beautiful home Suluissa. No one will disturb you there. In parentheses, with all kinds of awesome upgrades, including shelter, heaven bridge, stunning lake, and ancient dinosaur. <laughs> all right. T Rex bones, and much more. Uh, in parentheses, 23 items. Hunt lots of enemies, including buffalo, dromader. Uh, all right. Do you think that's supposed to be a drom dromedar? Elephant, fish, flamingo, gazelle, giraffe, goat, gorilla, hippo, hyena, leopard, lion, lioness, rabbit, raccoon, rhino, tiger, wolf, and zebra. All right. So animals also also are in alphabetical order. And huge amount of text. Very well, and it has one 
review which gave five stars and says super five years ago. So cute five years ago and that's pretty clear. So let's then start the game and try to get an image out of it. My friend, I am Master Cheeky. I will show you around. All right, there we are. So let's then let's then see about. Hello, my friend. I am Master Chi. I will show you around, and then Master Chi looks like a tiger. Very well. Next. Oh, I, oh, keep, I keep forgetting what was, what your, was name your name again. Next. Choose your character's name and gender. Hmm. Let's choose. Let's choose a fem female pamph. And of course, we are named after ourselves. There we go. And. Nice meeting you. All right, Mister. Look, it's, Look, almost, it's noon. almost noon. We better start, we better fast. start fast. Press W A S T keys to move and look around. Sir. That green point in front, of, green you plant in front of you looks very suspicious. All right. I think we should I run think to we it, should run to it and check it out. Looks very suspicious, and we should do that. Cats, press this button. Button shift to start running to the green plant. All right. All right. To earn, to earn XP and coins, and coins you must complete, complete quests. quests. Sure. With coins, With you coins can you can always buy something for, for your cups or homes. Didn't know that BAMFs need coins. Really. So let's then see see about like tutorial here you can see list of your quests button Q new quests are added automatically all right XP 400 great, great. Now, now you have a quest, a quest. Like Looks you like have you to have to with fight that with that dangerous-looking zebra. zebra. All right. And press attack button to fight. Color <laughs> equals yellow. Right mouse button uh, slash color. Now kill your first prey. <laughs> yeah, we almost could use elements as intended. <laughs> All right, there's the deep, right? Looks kind of small. Uh, stealth attack. The fighting looks kind of hopeless. There we go. You have completed your first quest. Press claim to get reward. All right. After each After level, level you get some skill plants. Use to them to strong. become stronger, but wisely. use them wisely! Exclamation mark. Tutorial. Click on Panther icon button H to improve your Panther stats. Use skill plants to increase your health, energy and attack power. Currently we have zero in all of them, so how are we alive at all? 
it's like, yeah, you have zero, zero in everything. So let's then improve one of the statistics as we apparently have very magnificent zero. So let's put one point strength. Then we also have like color editor. All right, you can also have like pink panther. Pink is skin. All right, and it costs seven thousand five hundred coins also blue ocean skin yeah the pink is one of course looks good snow skin grave skin basic skin and zola skin all right and then you have the snow skin with like have you ever seen a snow panther very well and there are achievements all right we have apparently fallen over. You have learned everything you need to go on your own. It's time for me to go now, but we will meet again very soon. And it's gonna be... Let's send... Wait for it. Derry. Let's send Derry. Very well, Mr. Master Chief. Island. Alright. If one of your quests is completed, quest button will be highlighted. Good tip, good tip. Alright, and there we go. So, what's this quest then? Level 5 is required to use this skill. Alright. There's apparently a gorilla or something. Let's see. Stealth attack. It's pretty strong. Really. That might be that we are not going to win this fight, so... But if we try to walk, walk away. Alright, we do auto heal, so. Alright, there's the gorilla. <laughs> Clearly trying to beat a gorilla at this point was not a successful strategy. But we can actually heal while walking. And alright, now apparently the gorilla got, spo got bored of attacking us. All right, now we have walked walked around long enough that we actually healed healed back up. All right. Even the raccoon was quite tough. Tough a foe. So we can now eat out of the raccoon. Alright. Even the raccoon was quite tough. A foe, so wouldn't wouldn't exactly want to attack anything bigger. All right, there's another raccoon. So and then they roll onto their side like a rich buddy. 
And there we go, that again gave XP and health. Kind of repetitive, like let's grind the raccoons. Yep. So let's continue. All right, there is apparently one of the suspicious green circles here. Locations, home, play. Finally, Finally you are here. No, you know I can't forever, wait right? for here forever, right? So, this is your home. It is a safe place. No one can enter it except you. <laughs> then we have a little bit of font metric disagreement. This game clearly hasn't been tested terribly much at all. Have to have to observe. Let's actually see also now that remember we can update the stream information. Is there either like is there either like game entry for this game? Nope. So games and demos it is again because there is no even uh, proper entry for this game either. Very high quality, so let's then. You can also, you can also breed cups your here with your mate. Sure, those floating icons, floating icons are buy. things it's you can upgrade. buy to upgrade your home. Bye bye for, bye now. Bye for now. And we can sleep, open more. All right. Sit, yes. Family, bye. All right, we do not have any. What does the panther feel for? Wheel of fortune do. All right, free spin. Let's spin. One. Three. So you won't win. Win some coins. And two hundred fifty. More free spins will be available in 24 hours. Alright. So, let's stand up and... Everything pretty much has to be bought. Tree of Wisdom. This tree is full of knowledge. It has a special story. Legend says it was found by a great warrior, brave and wise. He was tired and it was freezing, but the warrior didn't cut the tree's branches to make fire. He just meditated by its trunk. And for that the tree gave him all the knowledge, and the warrior didn't feel cold anymore, as he was warmed by knowledge. <laughs> Later the warrior understood how dangerous it was and had hidden leaves from this tree all around the world, so no one could know everything. The legend doesn't tell what had happened to the warrior, but some would say they've seen an old warrior in the forest talking to trees. Yep. There's another green, green circle. Let's see. Alright, let's return to Ireland because it seemed quite empty in the home map. And let's see what else we can, we can do.
So let's then see about like We most probably shouldn't attack a wolf. Do not think we will win yet, so we need more like raccoons. What's that? Is they pnui pnui or something? Very yeah, it's a pnui. Flamingo. No energy. Right, let's claim the other quest and now you can jump. Really. Alright, now we can have energy and we can so let's put one point to energy because it seems like we were running out. So let's improve the energy situation at least a little. Yep. I do think that going to actually uh, considering the time time uh, with the high quality games going to save the final one for next spectacle as would like to also have. Kamu bots with the rapid, rapid tycoon, <laughs> rapid park tycoon one. So apparently we didn't either get kisu kisu pump. They might be, might be uh, sleeping or such as they haven't been very well. So do you think that going to play this a bit more? We are already up to one and a half hours. So going to most probably play this a bit more and then finish with uh, having done several like really high quality animal games there's also the heart whatever that is so let's run towards that and see all right there's another fam here find soulmate oh Sure, whether it's possible to do anything specifically with them. That's the family view now, so something. Nope. They apparently follow at least at times. All right, there's another flaming over here, so apparently they also at least try to help.
really And now we now we also fulfilled the other quest by hunting the flamingo. So So somehow do think that this this would be quite quite sufficient sufficient for tonight, especially as we should also get our good pump to check this came out and uh, we do have the other one. So let's do another poor animal themed game special with longer plays of this and the uh, rabbit rabbit park simulator as it seems this game has more and more to do so let's what there actually is a saber to tiger simulator that is certainly for next time somewhat confusing that the image has no sabers and it looks like a dog hmm Yes, but that certainly we are trying, trying next time. Saber to Tiger Simulator, most excellent. So, considering we do not have that much viewership, not going to do a raid even, but going to thank all of you for joining for bad animal, animal themed games like was very interesting especially the goat game we did first first but let's let's do more of those another time soon and for now now do think that going to finish here for tonight so thank you all for joining joining and we certainly had especially a really sad hunting game the one that had like uh, just the animals coming at you, <laughs> you so, <coughs> and of course the overall quality of the gold game. So thank you and hopefully you enjoyed as far as there were, were viewers, but let's finish, finish here and once again Thank you for joining.